five years uh, licensed mechanic, and I'm going to give you in the next five minutes the inside story on this uh, Toyota Matrix, starting off with the right front wheel and suspension. Okay, number one, these tires are very uh, good, good aggressive uh, winter snow tires. Uh, not studded, but they are good aggressive, and you got about uh, about 70 to 80 percent tread here, so lots and lots of tread on your uh, on your front right. Okay, this is your other CV boot here, and it's not ripped, which is a good thing. Uh, I'm going to check the now in here. If you see this right here, okay, yeah, what I'm pointing at, this is the other tie rod, and I'm going to check this because I've got the jack under the wheel, but I'm going to have to check that from the uh, outside of the tire, but I'm going to check that in a moment there. Uh, I'm also going to check the lower ball joint from the outside of the car here as well. Uh, now, if you're looking up at the shock here, uh, you can see that the shock, this is the shock tower, the spring is here. This is full of oil. If it was leaking, you'd see it, uh, you'd see it very wet, but this is good and dry, so no concerns there. This is your, this is your brake line. Your, uh, your flexible brake line here and no cracks that I can see so everything looks clean on this side of the suspension. Okay now with the jack under the front under the front suspension there the wheels lifted your okay your lower your control lower control arm is tight and your outer tire your outer tie rod is tight as well. Your brakes, you got about 20,000 K left on your front brakes, on uh, the front right. The other thing you want to, I always look for, is inside of this, uh, of the strut. You see this is good and dry, and that's a, that's a good sign because there's, no there's no oil leakage on the front right strut. Okay, keep coming on on the left, outer tire, the outer CV boot, very intact. Uh, if you can see inside there, a little hard to see. Uh, where are you? A little hard to see inside there, but uh, you have to take my word for it that. Okay, let me see if I can get this view in here on the the inner CV joint joint. But it is, yeah. There you go. Just see the edge of it there. The inner CV boot is uh, dry and intact as well. Very important. I'm going to check the outer, tie, the, the outer lower ball joint from the outside and uh, this, the outer tie rod from the outside as well. Uh, your, your flexible hose here is all intact and no cracks, which is good. No leakage on the shock that I could see, so I'm going to check the outside now. Okay, on the Front strut, very clean, very dry, very good. Uh, tires, again, very uh, lots of tread, about 80% tread here on aggressive treads. Uh, brakes, about 20, about 20,000 k on your front brakes, same as the other. These rotors, by the way, uh, they really feel clean. Like they're not. They're, uh, I'm surprised that they. Well, I'm not surprised. I mean, the rotors warp, but. Uh, yeah, if you want to do anything, I'd say, you know, you change a set of rot rotors and pads for the front, but that's up to you. Um, the uh, lower control arm is tight. The outer tie rod is good and tight. So uh, this front end here is in really, really good shape um, that I can see. Okay, coming in on the back tire, again, same amount of tread on the back as you got on the front. About, uh, actually a little less on the back, maybe about 60%, 70%. It's a little bit less on there. now. On your, you can see that your spring, okay, you see your spring is intact and your shock inside of it is dry, very important, okay. Uh, on your, the back of your, uh, just see the drum brakes, and if there was leakage, you'd see it at the bottom, and there is no leakage in that wheel cylinder. The brakes are holding well, I'm not going to pull the drums because it's just a little bit more than I'm prepared to do. But uh, the worst case scenario is that the shoes could be down, but they don't feel like it because the uh, it's hold, the brakes parking brakes holding real well, which is uh, which is a good thing. And in your your exhaust is uh, stainless steel, and it's in a little rusty, but it's certainly not leaking or any concern that I can see. Now, okay, on the right rear. Again, tread, same amount as the other ones, lots of tread. Your, here's your shock, 
with your suspension good and dry, your uh, exhaust, gain stainless steel exhaust, I don't see any concern with that. Now on your, at the bottom of the, of the backing plate there, again if there was any leakage you'd see it right there. And uh, so this is, this rear end is looking real good, a little bit of rust but that's to be expected. Okay, with the motor running, you've gone 167, 821. Uh, no check engine lights. That brake light is on because I've got the park. The brake light is on because I got the parking brake on. Uh, no cracks in the windshield. Yeah, nice, uh, nice clean little unit here. And now I'm going to take you out and show you the motor. Okay, the first thing I look for in any motor is I look under the oil cap and I see if there's any white goo. And now white goo is a mixture of oil and antifreeze, which, which means there will be an internal leak, most likely a head gasket. And I'm not seeing any in this at all, so that is a good sign. Uh, and I'm going to just check the, the level, check your oil. Yeah, your oil's nice and clean as well. This obviously has been well maintained. I, I'm thinking this is, uh, so they've uh, they've done their due diligence. Battery uh, seems to be strong. I haven't got, I haven't put a tester on it, but it's definitely current turning over. I'm not seeing any leaks as far as oil. I'm not seeing any antifreeze leaks. Your fluid level, power steering fluid levels up. Your brake fluid is up. Um, yeah. Uh, the only other thing is uh, I'm going to just check to make sure I'm going to just do a check right now to find out if this is a timing belt or a timing timing chain. So just hold and I'll get that to you right now. Okay, so that's my um, five minute story and uh, really truly a uh, nice looking little unit. Uh, I'm going to find out though, I, I'm going to text you whether this is a timing belt or a timing chain. I've got to look that up, okay? Anyway, so that's the five minute story and um, I will give you that information on the timing belt, the timing chain, because that's very important to know.